If you're box fighting someone who is on an elevated layer and they don't have anything in their box, you can actually place a cone in there just by placing your crosshair on a certain bit of the floor under the wall. To get this positioning perfect every single time, all you want to do is place the dot of your crosshair, so the little dot in the middle here where my shotgun is, on this little bit of the floor that's poking out. Then all you want to do is pull out your build and every single time the cone will be in the perfect position to go inside their box. And no, you do not need to be crouching for this, but I do think it is easier. And then you'll be able to place a cone in just like so. When approaching a box from the top, you can actually take the floor even when the cone is there. To do this, all you need to do is pickaxe the little part of the floor that is sticking out between the cone and the floor. If I come over to here, you should be able to see it a little bit easier and as you can see just by pickaxing this little part here and it should glow as well when i'm over the cone it's kind of got like this white glow on it when i'm over the floor it's got this white glow on it so all you want to do is pickaxe it and you should be able to take the floor and no one ever expects it and you can catch so many people off guard the biggest mistake most people are making when they're approaching a wall is by boxing everything off and then just focusing on one wall instead Make sure you're approaching multiple different pieces and make sure you're using that floor trick as well to really overwhelm your opponent and apply more pressure to them. The biggest problem when just approaching one side is it's so easy for your opponent to try and come up with some sort of play and counter off your mistakes. When you're approaching so many different angles and you're constantly moving, it's so hard for your opponent to come up with a play that's actually going to work. We're always told when playing Fortnite never to double pickaxe swing on someone's box and that's not always the case. So I'm going to go over when you should and when you shouldn't double pickaxe swing if you notice a player doesn't have a ramp or they don't have a cone in their box this can be the perfect time to double pickaxe swing as a lot of the time you're going to be able to catch them off guard by forcing a ramp into their box at the same time to do this all you want to do is double swing place the ramp and the floor at the same time and 100% every time no matter what your ping is you're going to at least get the ramp into their box so it should be a safe time to go for the double pickaxe swing if you're worried that someone's going to edit and shoot you people are only going to edit when you draw that second pickaxe swing so by the time they complete the edit you'll be able to pickaxe the wall and force the ramp in blocking them at the back of their box therefore blocking their shot and then you can take the wall as well just keep in mind though if the player is right in front of the wall and you phase a ramp in they're going to be in front of the ramp and they can sometimes still be able to shoot you before you can get the wall but the ramp will usually push them and their crosshair up throwing them off a bit the only other time you should double pickaxe swing is if a player is not paying attention to you a great example is if you get someone low and they're trying to make lots of boxes, double pickaxing can be a quick way to apply some pressure to them, therefore throwing them off guard, allowing you to try and get in their face. And you're probably wondering now, when should you not double pickaxe swing? One time you should absolutely never do it is if you don't approach a wall properly. A great example of this is if I just run here and double pickaxe, even if I get this wall here, the chances are when I edit it, the guy's just going to full piece me up. Instead, make sure you're protected properly in an angle like this. Therefore, if the guy goes for an edit and I mess up the double pig X wing, I can just drop back and reset this and then take my meds. Worst comes worst. If you don't already know, you can actually edit builds super far away just by holding your map out. Let me show you an example. As you can see, when I'm in this box here, and I'll just put a wall there so you can see, I cannot edit the build it doesn't matter whatever i do i cannot edit that build there but if i hold my blueprints out you'll see there's actually an option to edit this build and this is why you'll see players like tayson whenever they go for an edit they always pull out their blueprints first and then go for the edit just because it allows them to go for edits super far back this could be super helpful in a lot of situations also another reason why you should edit with your blueprint out is also when you're looking to reset stuff as well as you can see in this situation it could be quite tricky for me to reset this wall that i've made instead pull out your blueprints and you could just reset it and edit the build by looking at it this is one i use all the time when i'm fighting and learning this is going to be super helpful for you when box fighting what is the best edit 
it to make. Now, what I am going to say is stop making the peanut butter edit. Everyone does this edit and it's super, super bad and it's kind of outdated now. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some great times to use the peanut butter edit where you'll be able to get free damage shots or a little bit of peace control, whatever it is. But... For the most of it, a peanut butter edit is just so 50-50. Now I've made this peanut butter edit here, I even need to strafe to the right, exposing most of my body and my whole head, or I need to jump up, throwing my crosshair placement off, and I'm also going to be forced to readjust while I'm in the air to try and track my opponent. Instead, just make a simple window edit. You're able to actually fool piece people through a window edit without them even being able to see you. The hardest edit to make is this one, this wall to the left, and look how much of my body's exposed. Literally just my hand and my arm to my opponent. This is super good as no one expects it as well. When you stand to the left of the wall, you can adjust your crosshair placement. My head isn't even exposed here unless they're all the way in this corner here. If someone's in this corner here, I've got a right hand peek on them and I don't even need to expose my head, just my arms. So this is a great way to get free damage, and this is not. Now, if you're someone who uses edit on release like me, then this is a great tip. I don't really know when this is going to be useful, though, but if you actually open up your edit panel like this, and you don't want to hold left click, instead, all you want to do is open up your your loadout button here take your finger off your mouse or whatever it is and then just close it again and you're able to sit here without holding it down then all you need to do is just confirm the edit and then you can shoot them this could be super useful for trying to adjust your crosshair placement before killing someone if you do actually go over to like the left or right side though unfortunately it does still select the pieces but sometimes it can be super hard to try and adjust your crosshair while holding down left click so this one might be helpful sometimes, especially in late game if you don't want to accidentally make an edit. I actually said this in my last video, but never ever approach a box from this angle when someone's double boxed up. This is the mistake I see way too many people making. Let me tell you why. When I'm in this double box here and I'm trying to defend against the guy, I now have two walls when you're on this ramp here. I have this wall here to go for potential cone or whatever it is and i also have this cone here to go for plays instead by approaching from this side you give your opponent only this one wall here making it much harder for your opponent but you're probably thinking but taven i could just edit out to the right i've still got two walls this is where setting up correctly is super important place a wall to the right place a wall to the left and they literally only have one side but to make this even better Place a wall here so they can't edit up either. Now they're forced to kind of drop back or try and go up or whatever it is to try and go for a play on you. And a lot of the time you're making yourself super hard to be hit. For example, if the guy goes to edit out to the right, you could just edit a window resulting in a free kill. When you force a ramp into someone's box, 90% of the time, if a player is in a single box, they're going to edit out to your right side. This is because for most people, it's a lot more comfortable for them to look to the left rather than looking to the right. This is because for most people, it's a lot more comfortable to look to the left rather than looking to the right. Let me show you why. Put your right arm out now in front of you as most people are right handed and hold their mouse in their right hand then move it to the right and move it to the left which one feels more comfortable and which one have you got more of like a range of movement in you're going to say moving it to your left or most people are going to say moving to the left just because it's more comfortable and you go inwards towards you rather than going outwards and that's why when you force a ramp into people's box most people are going to edit out to the left and now with this information whenever you force a ramp into someone's box always place a wall to the right no matter what before you go for any edit play on them or whatever you're going to go for always place that wall to the right as soon as you get those two edits this is what every single pro does because that way if they're super quick editor and they react to you placing it straight away and they run straight out you're going to be able to see what they've done and you're going to be able to edit this right wall and full piece them for a free kill when in a box fighting situation i see way too many people only using their pickaxe 
especially when a wall is low or someone's trying to make loads of boxes, spraying at them with an AR or an SMG can be all you need to get a few little extra shots off or be able to apply enough pressure to them to force them into making some sort of mistake. There's times where spraying with your AR can be a thousand times more safer and also increase your chance of getting the wall. Remember how earlier I said it's good to approach from multiple different angles? Well, a great way to do this is by using your SMG. Spray at different parts of the wall and eventually try and take one of the pieces and you have a much higher chance of taking it rather than running around pickaxing which is so much slower than just spraying every single wall. Anyways that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy make sure to smash that like button and if I taught you one thing new or just reminded you of something please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out more than you can even imagine. Anyways if you like this video you may also like this video on screen now.